I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch, and in this tutorial, I'll use Particle Illusion 3 to recreate the transporter effect for the latest Star Trek movie. Particle Illusion 3 already has emitters for creating many of the older transporter effects. What we want is this new effect from the movie. A blurry glowing version of Spock forms first, with lots of orbiting energy specs. We'll start with our Spock image, making the background transparent and saving as PNG with Alpha. In Particle Illusion, load the image into a layer. Select the starting area emitter and add it to the stage. Resize the area emitter rectangle. Use the area mask option and select the same image again. This option only creates particles in the non-empty parts of the alpha channel. Now we need an image sequence to use for the particles. This one needs some modification, so I'll paint out parts of the trails to make them appear to go around our subject. Import this sequence for the particles, and then make some adjustments to the angle, size, and other properties of the particles. Let's take a look at what we have so far. That part looks good, so we'll move on to the glow. Make a copy of the existing particle type and rename it Glow. Then change the shape image to basic blur and adjust the number, size, and visibility. Once this emitter looks good, we'll duplicate it using copy and paste to create the blurring particles. Delete the second particle type, make the remaining particles non-intense, and set the color option to Get Color From Layer. Then adjust the number and size of the particles until they produce a good blurring effect. Now we'll want the background image to turn on in the middle of the transport. That's the initial version of this effect. It's fairly different from the film version, but it's simple to use as it only requires two emitters. The main problem is that it's not conforming to the various body parts as in the film version. Let's fix that. Remove the mask image from the emitter and turn off the blurry fill emitter, which doesn't need to change. Now reduce the size of the area rectangle so it covers Spock's body only. Increase the X size of the particles so they cover the body, and we'll tweak a few other settings like the range of the particle angles. That's looking pretty good. We'll want to improve the way the Spock background image appears, so add an emitter that creates a single particle, import the Spock image for it, then adjust its size and position so it matches the background image. Then adjust the visibility of it so it fades in before the background image turns on, for a smoother effect. Once the body emitter is finished, copy and paste it on the head. Resizing and positioning is needed. Adjust the particle's size and number until the head looks correct. Now copy and paste the emitter for the arms and adjust as needed to complete the overall effect. Here's the final effect. I think it looks pretty good. There's a longer version of this tutorial that goes into a lot more detail. All of these emitters will be included in the May 2009 emitter library for Particle Illusion 3, and you can download the complete project files for this and all of the other Star Trek transporter examples from this video from our website, wondertouch.com. I'm Alan Lawrence. Thanks for watching.